Staying together to stop gun violence, families in Waterbury say enough is enough. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Sinney. And hi everyone, I'm Erin Connolly. Tonight, dozens of people pushing city leaders to take action. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Bryant Reed is live in Waterbury with what they want to see happen. Bryant. Well, Aaron and Mark, several ideas were tossed around from it being to how kids are raised growing up, to the education system, to second chance employment opportunities for past offenders. But one thing is clear, time is running out and something needs to happen now to stop the violence. I asked one of my high school students today why he would keep a gun on him. And he said, to stay safe. Tonight, Waterbury City leaders and members of the public came together to talk through how people can feel safe without the use of those firearms. It doesn't have to be your family member for you to help. The mayor, chief of police, and community outreach members came together after the shooting in December at the Brass Mill Mall where a 17-year-old was shot. After 15 gun-related homicides in 2023, those incidents are what leaders are trying to prevent, and they say it all starts with the kids. These children need to know that someone's there, they're being heard, that they're available, that they're there to help. And I guarantee you'll see a lot more success rate, a lot less criminality going on in this community. Chief Fernando Spagnolo says only 5% of the Waterbury area is where gun violence happens, but he needs 100% of the community to work with police to prevent it. Please, I'm asking you, accept me, accept the police that work with me. I want to hear what your problems are as they pertain to violence in the community. I want to hear what your problems are as they pertain to quality of life issues that you may be having in this community. Because sometimes that's where the violence stems from. Those, those little nitpicky issues that we need to address. Residents like Dion Quena are willing to accept the chief's plea, but say it's about working together. Well, I, I see this very much as a public health issue, so that's what I'm, I'm taking away um, and thinking about how we can be innovative to come up with solutions that address some of the concerns that were brought up in today's meeting. And not only Dion, but everyone left the meeting with a like-minded goal. We want to see you safe, alive, and out of jail. Now, there were other options that were also tossed around there, like getting kids off of social media or at least showing them the proper way to use it. Going old school and getting kids outside and playing with their friends, riding bikes again, and something that affects the entire community is getting, the, getting them the resources they so desperately need. In Waterbury tonight, Brian Reed, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Brian, thank you. We are following a developing story out of New London.